Welcome everyone, breaking news, hold the presses, Python 3.11 is out for the latest higher performance implementation and obviously new features of that popular open source scripting or otherwise dynamically typed and stuff language. Major new features of the 3.11 series includes fine-grained error location and tracebacks, exception groups and accept tomlib, parsing toml in the standard library. Yay. Um, task groups to async IO, atomic grouping and possessive quantities are no support in regular expressions. Faster CPython product already yielding some exciting results. Of course, there are other even higher performance um, PyPy and stuff implementations. But here, 10 to 60% faster than 3.10 on average, measured 1.22, so basically 22%. Speed up on the standard benchmark suit, C faster, C Python for details, and other typing and language changes, self type, radic generics, arbitrary literal string type, uh, marking individual type dict items, potentially missing, and data class transforms, and obviously way, way more stuff. Of course, we wouldn't be this channel if we wouldn't try to cross-compile that. Um, was it even enabled for cross-compiling by default? Let me quickly check. <laughs> I might drop frames and um, use big glitches. Probably I should switch to live stream on an um, stable Centaur CCH1 um, with ECC memory platform. Ah. So, um, of all the stuff we built here, did we... I lost overview of all the languages in which we, by default, actually we built this by default, actually should have... Also people told me I should use more control U. So, Python that are... This from two packages and let's see what happens. It is possible that data or AI bot is updating that in Parallel, that is also my poor PC test installation stuff from yesterday. Hey, other versions are also out. Valgrind, of all things. Wow, NGDK plus everything thanks to brought to you by Data, our AI scripted package, nightly package update AI bot. Here, Valgrind, that is certainly probably deserves a dedicated video. NGTK 482. Is that not an amazing Linux version? It wouldn't surprise me if data... Oh, this also doesn't build. Uh, Cross-compiling requires with build Python. Oops. Um, so much to... Warp more. Wow. Um, yeah, that is... <laughs> the only constant is change and regression, so it might be faster and more amazing and stuff. Um, Hmm, is it just uh, a reference I... With all the stuff I fixed here, I lost overview what is... I basically, I wasted just too many hours yesterday and last night and stuff on bloody cross-compiling Perl. So probably an um, ugly duck of competing... Am I allowed to say that here live on this channel? Leave in the comments below which script language... Script and or dynamically typed language do you favor? Perl, Python, Ruby, or any other things there in between. Um, but so yeah, it is possible that Python uh, data is updating that via hand over back. Let's see. Build. So what do we have here? Uh, cross, cross stuff. Enable. I'm not sure why. Need working force enable or disable IPv6. Uh, so I have no idea then if that is just this build Python Python. Maybe. Let's see what happens. I mean, it, they could test if they have a working Python solution. Maybe it does already fix that, which which would be silly if you like, hey, there is some Python, but yeah, give me another one. But Well, I don't complain. I said it in a previous video. I know embrace all the brokenness because the more that is broken up the stream and the more needs custom quirks, YOLOs, patches and hacks, the more it's broken on the other 1946 new distributions. So... Uh, Maybe that was already everything that is needed. Yay, it was! Amazing. Maybe it even worked. We probably should test that in a later stream on a 
PA risk for PC or unmatched risk 5 um, desktop board. So let's see, does, yeah, as expected, data did that behind our back. Um, why does it another checksum? What is it? Um, postpone because what's going on there? Python. Don't tell me that is another. Ah, oh, wait. CF. Ah, was there it? No, I'm confused. What? What did. So, wait. Data got another source, source check someone else. How did that happen? I think I had seen that previously, which. Or it is actually possible, you know what, it is possible that the data test built it. Untested. It is possible the data in parallel, in embarrassingly parallel, maybe it um, clobbered that I actually. Uh, what I actually wanted to do already, um, because previous video, right, six months ago, embarrassingly parallel update checking, and then like if, like Python and Python 2, and then they clobber each other. That is a possibility, which obviously, theoretically, is a bug in our T2 Linux distribution scripts that we should theoretically tackle. Another idea what I wanted to do already is, because I also have the issue of parallel subversion commit there with data, so I actually wanted to embrace log-free because of, of course the only, um, the not only solution to that is locking, the other is log-free data structures, and actually I wanted to make a video already weeks ago but then I yolo and worked around some other stuff. First, log-free um, log log free shell scripting, right? Because how could we tackle that? We could tackle that with actually snapshotting the sources, like basically, for example, better either manually, like without file system support, um, copying stuff, which is tricky and stuff, or the latest and greatest 21st century solution is better if as copy and write snapshotting the whole source tree in temporarily built things and then that probably yeah probably that is uh, let's, let's do that again um i trust my this is of course silly but yeah that is what is fixed python download check some and Edit new cross compile quirk because obviously um, it is silly. There is a matching Python. We actually bootstrap a fresh one. Um, I mean, I would understand if they check there is a matching Python version and then error all, but not even trying. Like, but whatever. Anyway, it's of course amazing. Um, so, yeah, whether that works is for a future video. I still probably have. Um, Perl to tame for some architectures, but that is a topic for another video. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something, including that there are new major updates we probably should theoretically, oops, <laughs> wanted to click there and yeah, close that. Nothing like, uh, nothing like wanting to select a tab and closing it. So Valgrind um, theoretically deserves a dedicated view because Valgrind is of course amazing, one of the really amazing um, packages that are really State of the art engineering and amazing. What are the code changes there? Rust v0 name demangling, amazing. For the future, that is unfortunately Rust. Um, no implemented is suddenly uh, in no sense. Uh, restartable sequence, I guess. Special FD, remove dependency, compat 10, um, and fixed boxes. So yeah, it looks not major for that amazing open source memory safety debugging, or safety memory correctness debugging tool. Um, looks minor, except maybe Rust v0 name demangling and R sequence is called um, disablement, but otherwise certainly take some bug fixes. Certainly nine of our, in line with our upcoming release of our amazing new distribution. That is T2. 
22.10 coming. Um, nearly ready. I hope the last minute Valgrind stuff doesn't break something. That's it for this video. It's usually, I hope, as usual. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this. Shout out here. Um, updating live, working on this Linux version. I hope you learned something. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to share and subscribe, maybe Patreon, GitHub sponsorship, uh, support for 26 architectures. Otherwise, have a good day and night and see you soon for the next fun code and low level.